What's up, everybody? This is Zach, a.k.a. Zach, a.k.a. I am Zach, a.k.a. Super French Big Z, creator of Jelly Video, made more podcasts on the website, Zach.coffee. That's Z-A-C-K dot C-O-F-F-E-E. My link tree is I am Zachy one I-A-M-Z-A-K-I-1. And, uh, yeah, be sure to check all those sites, those portals. Everything's on my website. Um, and that's where I include the YouTube. So you can always go on YouTube to my account, go under the latest videos, and you can see all the vlogs that I make and uh, from time to time I add them on my uh, website. Um, very quick video uh, as I mentioned uh, on Instagram I will talk a little bit about Half-Life 3. Half-Life 3 is definitely in the works. Um, it's very complicated because uh, part of it is an indie game developer project and part of it is Gabe Newell who will have to make it but uh, the the complexity of the game is so complex and uh, it's kind of like a cauchemar or nightmare, as we say in French. But uh, do you know how uh, how crazy uh, Death Stranding just got? Death Stranding just got very, very complicated and very disturbing, but then still mental health, but still this and still that. And Well, due to the level of uh, complexity and technology ever since what uh, Half-Life 1 looked like, Half-Life 2 looked like, Half-Life, uh, the episode one and episode two for Half-Life 2. Half-Life Alex with the whole uh, virtual reality and the, um, and then people who are trying to play it without the, without the virtual reality goggles. It's gone to large detail and trying to make Half-Life 3 is going to be very hard. Now I know now Game Newell is going to deny this or this one I just doesn't know. Half-Life 3 is coming. Whether you like it or not, we've been waiting for Half-Life 3 for a long time. So if we had to wait that long and then people just start making like a fan fiction or fan game and they made Black Mesa a game based on what Half-Life was, there will be someone who will make Half-Life 3. And, you know, you can take a bunch of indie developers, decoders, you need to take some people who are into it, they will make Half-Life 3. It will get done with or without... Valve's help and without Game Newell. The game has to be made. You cannot just say the game cannot be made. Cannot be made. Why why cannot be made? Why cannot be made? Because then people will put two and two together. That people are trapped underground in research facilities everywhere around the world. Because that's what it's about. If the graphics got real enough, people will start to put two and two together. Think about how many people live in research facilities and work there, underground, and many places. Not just Area 51 where everyone is like, ooh, aliens or this or that. No, around the world. There are research facilities, there are places of employment where you hit a button and you don't go up. You go down. You go down sub-zero levels. You, you go to levels that are way down, way down, way down. Or like in, you know, you know, the whole Resident Evil Umbrella Corporation mythology where, you know, it's just some house that you don't know about. And next thing you know, there's an elevator that takes you, you know, 50 levels underground. That's why there's no Half-Life 3 just yet. There's no Half-Life 3 just yet because if we did a Half-Life 3 with the graphics of a Cyberpunk 2077, with the graphics of, you know, you know, something as great of that engine as uh, as an Unreal 5 engine, if we had those kinds of graphics, people would start to put two and two things together. They would start realizing, oh my God, but how many research facilities around the planet have people underground working? And some of them are not even allowed to reach the surface. Why do you think it's called a Microsoft Surface laptop? Because we've only scratched the surface. When I bought an Apple Watch, when I bought an iPhone, a newer iPhone, that was a while ago. I said, we've only scratched the surface. And look how much work I put on my blog and on my writing and qu quantum computing, Q sharp programming, all this and that. We've only scratched the surface. There are things that people know that are too dangerous to tell. You don't want to know. Why do you think that a lot of us stay up all night and work all night? When we have that kind of knowledge, you don't want to know that knowledge. Why do you think I make these uh, these quotes where I say, don't think too much, you'll go bananas. Just think about this, think about your family and a loved one, all this and that. Because 
I make other videos for people who are very advanced into this kind of work. People who learn about quantum mechanics on a very complicated level. Like, like I said, we explain things like this. We have to explain this to the five-year-old. We have to explain this to uh, someone who's in uh, high school, someone who's in college, someone who's got a, a, a PhD, someone who's, you know, fucking fighter pilots. There's, there are things that are so complex you don't want to know. Because we can literally say things that in like three seconds can give you like an aneurysm. And you don't want that. You do not want that. So for that reason being, I'm trying to explain to you that Half-Life 3 is coming. Half-Life 3 is coming. But they ran into some issues with legal. They went into some some issues with legal because of, of uh, things that are top secret. They basically said, if you make this game, everyone's going to put two and two together. And basically said, you know... This whole Microsoft Surface laptop is just a, a hint to say that people, researchers and scientists are working underground and they're basically trying their best to reach the surface. They're trying to reach the surface. They're, they're just trying to get up. That's what's happening. That's why, you know, Half-Life is like such a crazy game for a lot of us because a lot of us, it's not true story or based on a true story, but it's it happened to a lot of us. We basically, all of us are a little bit like Gordon Freeman, where we worked in a working environment, and uh, they told us, okay, do this experiment, and then they say uh, something terrible happened, and then you're basically trying to rectify the situation, and you're trying to get away from the situation, and, you know, just like in, in uh, Gordon Freeman, something bad happens, you know, like aliens or whatever shows up, and then every scientist is like, run for your lives, and he's unable to save any of them, and that's very frustrating. That's very frustrating because he's not saving like a single scientist. Scientist, he's only talking to uh, to that security guard. So it's basically him and the security guard and like a few scientists. But like, there's it's a very you know the story can go further than that. That's just too simple. It can be more complex, more crazy, and that's why. Everyone who's got a badge and logs in at Black Mesa, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. As gamers, we love these stories. But as real people who are researchers and scientists, it's very difficult. Because they all have to log in, put in their badge, and go work underground. 50 levels be before anything, and they have to work on these complex things, afraid that something might go wrong, might go wrong. And what's even more annoying is we have to play devil's advocate. We have to make this game. Why? Because if we do not make this game, then we cannot tell the stories of these scientists and researchers. How many of them are stuck underground and they cannot get out? How many of these researchers are being told to keep working on this, keep working on that? And they cannot get into that elevator and go all the way back up. Around the world right now, throughout the planet, there are researchers and scientists who work way below underground, and some of them haven't seen daylight in days. Just like you can make fun of my eyes right now, this is nothing compared to what happened to other scientists and researchers. So we have to make Half-Life 3 to tell those stories about those scientists and researchers who work underground, who work on some of the craziest projects, whether it's at, whether it's like a Area 51 or, or anywhere else. You need to make this game. It's very important for mental health, for emotional support, for people who've been playing Half-Life for, for over 20 some years. You want some, uh, some acknowledgements? I downloaded Steam when you made the app within the first minutes that it was released. Within the first 10 seconds. When you dropped Half-Life 2, Game Newell, I was one of the original subscribers to Steam. I am still one of the very few people who have a three-digit username on Steam. I love Steam. I want to play Steam. 
But my Razer laptop is kaput. My Razer laptop is kaput. It's, an, it's four and a half years old. As always, Windows machines don't last as much as a MacBook Pro. A MacBook Pro has 16 hours of battery life. A Windows machine doesn't work after two hours of battery life. I need to have a new Razer laptop to put in my backup, install Steam, and uh, make sure that new Razer has a, a, a good graphics card, whether it's NVIDIA or AMD Radeon. You know, a Razer laptop in just two or three years, or four years, four years and a half of usage, the motherboard was pretty much fried. The, um, the battery was like not working pretty much. The the touchpad was busted. The keyboard is busted. It's it was a nightmare, and everyone's like razor, razor, razor. Well, I like to be there, but I don't have the funds. And if you want to help, how is it that you're helping all these other people, but not a single donation to my work, even though I'm doing all of this work? Who's preventing this? There's a certain person who's removing the funds. From, uh, from my donations. Why? For some kind of reality show. And we're going to find out who it is. And we're going to put that person behind bars. But uh, right now, I don't I have no way to play uh, Steam uh, uh, Steam on, uh, on the computer because uh, the Razer is not working. And uh, I have it on AMD Lenovo, but um, um, I'll have to see if I can work that out. But uh, right now, it's not working on the Apple. But, um, you know, you've seen my work, you like my work. There's millions of people around the world and billions of people around the world. After, if, you, if you're around the world and after me writing two millions of words and we ask you the question, do you think that now Zaki, after 25 years of work, deserve a new car? Your answer should be yes, he deserves a new car. If you, by some reason, do not... Say that on camera, or say that acknowledgement on text, written down. They say, no, he doesn't deserve a new car. And it's definitely the Trump matrix. It's the Trump matrix. It's something, there's a glitch in the matrix or something. You cannot Jedi mind trick me when you call me Yoda or Grogu. You can on one side call me Yoda Grogu and then just try to Jedi mind trick me. No, you don't need a car. You don't need a car. Why not? Am I about to become this spokesperson for Volkswagen forever or something? Volkswagen has not released their new vehicle in America. They basically lost all of their fundings for all of 2024 because they're late by a year. I need a new car. Preferably BMW or Audi. There's an Audi RS6 Avant that I want really bad, or an R7. Or if it's a BMW, the old VP that I used to work under, he heard my prayers. The BMW M5 Touring is coming to America. The BMW M5 Touring. That's a wagon vehicle, BMW M, M vehicle, M family, and it's coming to the United States this Christmas. Now, I really want a car now. Whether it's now or this Christmas, I need something. You cannot go around and say that I have to work 25 years and I still can't afford a new car and basically all these uh, sweet 16-year-olds get a brand new car. That's embarrassing. I have a college degree, a university education, 25 years of work, 12 years corporate. People left and right asking me to write reports, asking me for help. And you still won't give me a car? What is going on here? This is a joke? Is this the work of the G-Man? Okay. Like I said, very quick video. We're already at 14 minutes. I'm gonna spend a few more minutes I just got a new cover for my Apple Watch. For my Apple Watch. 
here we go see it there we go and the cool thing about the the new excuse me the new uh, cover thing that wristband thing is that it's um, by Nomad, Nomad, Nomad is the brand of uh, wrist that I, for your Apple Watch that I got last time. I, I had the original, um, like a dark blue, then I got a green one from Nomad, and now I got this really cool one, which is, um, they call it, uh, let me see what they call it. call it the I like when I used to not like when I looked up stuff because it looked me it made me look uh, um, what you would call uh, it made me look like I was not prepared but the nice thing is now I'm uh, uh, when I do that it's it's make me think of old episodes of uh, of um, Dignation where uh, Kevin Rose and Alice Albright would just look up stuff while they were doing their their show. Big shout out to both of them. I knew they said they're gonna have to do a reunion dignation episode. I can't wait to watch it. Rugged case. R-U-G-G-E-D case. And um the nice thing about the rugged case is that it's um, integrated rugged ba rugged band hardened 315L stainless steel body uh, 1000 HV DLC coating protective interior TPU lining anonized stainless steel buttons and specifically designed for all um, for Apple watches uh, Series four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and SE. And uh, basically, when you look at my watch now, you look at this. It's basically strong, and grip, and uh, it can drop or whatever, and it's, it's it'll be fine. And essentially, with this rugged band for a uh, hundred twenty dollars. By the way, a Nomad is not paying me for this. Nomad is not paying me for this. Uh, this band for one hundred twenty dollars on top of what you pay for the watch turns your watch in essentially into an apple watch ultra the apple watch ultra that's like 900 dollars that everybody wants that's so cool all this and that well this kind of almost makes it look like that so if you're a hiker or if you work in condition where you're afraid of dropping your watch um this is the perfect wristband for you there you go look at this it's amazing i love this thing and uh the reason why I like the company Nomad is because Nomad is the main character in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Ghost Recon Breakpoint for the PlayStation, uh, Xbox, and uh, uh, PC, um, Steam. Uh, uh, Ubisoft, Ubisoft. But uh, I, uh, I really like the company. The company is doing great work. Uh, they, have, uh, fo they have phone covers. I might have to get one of those, but uh, this... Uh, iPhone cover is just amazing. Now, I, I just want to give them one little hint is that when you wear your watch on a different wrist, because I'm left-handed, um, the um, uh, the wrist thing is upside down. So it's upside down. So if you could just, uh, the next version, make one for both, you know, one version for left-handed people, one version for right-handed people. So in the future, Whenever I get the next type of Apple Watch, if you could just make one so I can have the wristband uh, on the other side. But uh, thank you for for doing that. It's just, it's very fun and uh, I like it a lot. It's just, it's it's great. Um, all right. What else? Uh, yeah, uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Uh, I've done some more, another um, live stream and uh, posted this morning. For people with different time zones, so by all means, if you if you want to watch my uh, my live streams, you, you have full permission. Especially if you're um, in the barracks and the you know military base, you want to put it on, on on a big screen, 
on a on a projector. That's no problem. That I have no problem with that. I know a lot of you guys are bored to death. Bored to death. It's okay if you want to watch my YouTubes. Um, please understand that it's better for you guys to be bored to death and watch videos like that than to be out there and 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 go through you know battle and war and all this and that. I know that's what you're trained for. That's what you you want you need to do. But if you have free time, just there's I'm gonna keep providing you guys content to enjoy. I know you guys much prefer go, uh, Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Halo, Halo, Call of Duty, Halo, 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 Call of Duty, Call of Duty, Halo, Halo, and uh, you know Battlefield 2042, like I, I like as well. But uh, just please don't worry. For those of you guys who like the more complex stuff like the Ghost Recon Breakpoint, I will go ahead and live stream some more of that. There's many more missions to go. We'll do plenty of those. Do not worry. Um, that's going to be it. And um, yeah, uh, today is um, the uh, Tofu Shop's birthday. Uh, I mean, Tofu Shop uh, anniversary of uh, Initial D. Initial D and, uh, and, and uh, MF Ghost. It's, uh, it's, uh, I think today was the first day that uh, Initial D was... Life uh, st was uh, on television. Um, was on television uh, um, back in Japan like a long time ago. And for those of you guys who love Initial D and MF Ghost, uh, go to Tofu Shop. Uh, there's one called Fujira Tofu Bistro in Fr Fremont, uh, California, and then there's another one called uh, Fuj Fujira Tofu Cafe in uh, Los Angeles. So obviously, I know there's a lot. Of, they try to battle between one another. There's no battles. Okay, one is like. Six hours away for us, and another one is like one and a half hours away or two hours away from us. So stop saying, oh, you stole the name of this. Look, we live in different parts of the world and the country. Like, if I could open a tofu shop across the street from where I live, I would open a fucking tofu shop across the street. But I can't. If someone wants to do it, by all means. You want to open a, a tofu shop in Modesto? Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's do it and... We'll, we'll, you know, we'll have car meets here and everything. But right now, uh, the closest one, Tofu Shop, is in two hours from here. And here in uh, Fremont, that's where we'll get to meet. I'm trying to go there next month in May for my birthday. I'm excited. But uh, still no new car. Still no new car. Really upsetting. But uh, I've uh, I've applied to three car contests. There's uh, Legend Supply Co. I'm trying to win that RS6 Savant. The 8080 uh, for the... 911 GT3 and the tuner called for the 911 GT3 uh, Porsches. Whichever one I get, I'll be very happy. I just need a car. I need a car. I need a navigation system for my July radio and my operating system and all this and that. I really need that. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, it's fairly short, 23 minutes. And uh, yeah, I, I'm, I would love to live stream some uh, some uh, Half-Life, half -life, but... Uh, now that my Razer laptop is kaput, uh, until someone gives me the funds for a new Razer laptop, I think we're going to have to wait. So if you're a Half-Life fan, um, go ahead. Razer US, Razer France, Razer Spain, Spain, Razer Germany, Razer Japan. Wherever you are, Razer fan supporters around the planet. I'm a, I was a Razer investor. You know, I... Not investor on the side, but investor in products. Like I have a Razer laptop, I have Razer keyboards, I have a Razer mouse, I have Razer, the chair, I have the chair, I have everything. But uh, right now, my laptop is four and a half years old and it doesn't work. So if the Razer CEO is listening, go ahead and give me something. You don't have to give me the 18 inch uh, laptop with all the bells and the whistle. I will gladly take something else, you know, whether it's a 17 inch or a 16 inch, that's fine. Uh, just I just need a laptop to keep keep going and doing the work. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, the Lambda Core Complex continue, and uh, we'll find more more uh, more stories about this G Man, aka Elon Musk Neuralink. All right, guys, have fun, and uh, talk to you guys later. This is Zach, aka Zachy, aka I'm Zachy, aka Super French Big Z, signing out. Coffee.